In the previous video, I showed you how to register a client into the system and also capture their demographic details. So I'm just going to do a short recapture before we move on. So you're going to click on reception and search for their name. This is Martin Luther. Then I'll click search. Once I click search, it will give me a list of all the people that have similar names into the system. So we have our Martin Luther King here. And the moment I click on view, it will populate the patient summary. So once I click on view, I'll see Martin Luther King's details and confirm if it's indeed the correct details of the patient that I'm attending to. Once I've confirmed, I'll go on and click on patient, open patient file. And this will take me here. Remember we said you can either admit a patient into admit outpatient or admit inpatient. We previously admitted Martin Luther King in the outpatient. So we're going to click on outpatient. And these are the list of queues that we have. And we previously admitted Martin Luther King in the HTS queue. That's why under active queues, there is HTS. So there is no need for us to send Martin Luther King to the queue all over again because he's already in a queue. So we're going to go ahead and close patient file. Now I want you to go to workspace. Since we admitted Martin Luther King in the outpatient, we're going to go to outpatients. And we'll see that we are now in outpatient management. And these are the list of queues that we have under outpatient. And we also have the number of people that are in the queues. So currently in the general queue, there is one person. In the HTS queue, there is one. In the OI clinic, we've got one. So we need to select the queue that we want to attend to. Ours is HTS, so I'm going to go to HTS, attend to queue. And now I'm in the HTS department. So even though there is one person admitted in this queue, the list will not show. This is for private and security reasons. So if you want to search for a patient, you have to click on the search tab here and search for the patient's name. If you do not find the patient's name here, just try and make sure that it's a, correct, it's a correct spelling. If the spelling is correct, then probably the person is not admitted in this particular queue. So once you click on this eye icon here, you're going to see the patient summary details here. So I'm going to click on this. And I can see Martin Luther King's details. And open patient file. This is the outpatient management screen. It is a patient summary details, patient demographic details, and options. So we're going to start by capturing patient's vitals. So I'll click on vitals. And once I click on vitals, it will give me an option where I can capture the patient vitals. So I'm going to capture their blood pressure, 120 over 90. Make sure you click record. If you make a mistake, you can delete. And re-enter. Record temperature. Record pulse, record respiratory rate, record some of my values are not correct, fetal heart rate, record height. If you realize a uh, height and weight are different from these other ones that we recorded. 
This is because you can record temperature, blood pressure, pulse uh, more than once in one visit. But you cannot record a patient's height and weight every two hours because these would not change in less than a day. So we're going to click on height. So there's no last reading because we have not yet recorded Martin Luther King's height. So I'm going to click on the edit button and input Martin Luther's height, which is in centimeters. Then serve. Then I'm going to put their weight, which is in kgs, and click save. And once you have entered, you can close. You do not need to enter anything under patient body mass index because it will calculate on its own. So once we're done capturing vitals, we're going to click on close. So basically this is how we capture the vitals. So when you click on vitals again, you're going to find that all the vitals that we captured are still there. And the patient body mass index is now reflecting which is 71 so I'm going to click on close and you're going to move on to the next video